Guys, 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 guess what I just got? I, I, I finally got one. I got a goon. Yeah. Wait, where is everyone? Damn it, I'm late to the party again. That's right, YouTube. Robbie Vapes, late to the party again. Yes, we are looking at the goon today. I know every other reviewer already has done a review on this, so I have no idea if anyone's even going to watch this or not. If you're watching this and you already have one, great. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. If you're watching this and you don't have one yet, just know that you're not alone. It took me months to get my hands on this thing, all right? But I finally have one. And with that in mind, we're going to do a quick review today. And it's basically going to be the old-fashioned style of review that I used to do that you may have seen or may look familiar from my Cleto or Kalido video that I did, which is basically I do a intro right now. My first impressions is basically right out of the box. I have barely even seen this thing yet. You do my first impressions in the down and dirty section. Then we'll come back up top in a couple more weeks once I've had a chance to really get to know this thing. And at that point, what we'll do is do the final version of the review and let you know if it lived up to the hype I was expecting from the beginning of this video, which is right now, till the end. So with that being said, let's get down and dirty with the Goon RDA. Our YouTube, we are down and dirty with the Goon by 528 Custom Vapes. There we go, guys. There's a little packaging, a little baggie that comes in. We're going to open this bad boy up and see what else is in the package. First thing we see is, of course, the Goon itself. We will get to that in just a moment. Put that down. Also in the packaging, let's see what else we have. I think that's it, actually. Just a little baggie in here. Inside this little baggie, you have your kind of chuff cap style drip tip almost. You got your four extra screws for those posts, the O-rings slash seals. And other than that, that pretty much looks to be it. Let's see if I can get a better look at that because it's a little bit blurry. But that is pretty much packaging. That is all you need. Very simple little baggie here. And here is the goon itself. We're gonna put this on the Relo two thirds to check it out a little bit more up close, see the build deck, all that good stuff, and see what people are really raving about. First thing we're gonna do is take off the top, just like that, and the barrel. There we go, there's the build deck right down there. Actually, you know what, let's get to that in just a second. Here is the actual top cap and the barrel. We're gonna push this out a little bit so we can get it out. The drip tip falls off. All right, so there is your top cap with the airflow. There is option for both single airflow and dual airflow. So we can see through there. See, you can see my finger. Look at that, you can see it. Uh, on this one, you cannot see my finger. Bam, magic. All right, getting back on track here. and Let's quit fooling around for a second, all right? Let's get our shit together. Put that off to the side. That's all we're gonna talk about for that. Looking at the actual build deck itself, we will see that it has those clamp style posts which is what everybody's talking about right now. Really nice gold as well, gold plated. And of course it looks really good. Now I did notice they didn't include a screwdriver, which if you watched my last video on the V-God, you will notice that that is actually a very poor sign in my opinion. So with that in mind, I would have liked to have seen a screwdriver on this, although at least it's a pretty universal screw head on there. It doesn't look to be too, uh, too proprietary. It looks to be a star screwdriver if I can get the screen to focus. And hopefully you guys can see that it is for sure a star screwdriver and a nice big uh, build deck on there as well, which is going to be great for putting some big builds in there, which I plan on doing. And other than that, I mean, really nice juice well as well. Not too shallow, not too deep. So I think that's going to be really, really fun to wick with. And other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let's just take this off here. Look at the bottom pin. Make sure it's sticking out enough. And as I drop it, here we go. So we have a copper bottom pin here, 510 pin. We can see right there it is sticking out a fair bit. Does not appear to be able to be pushed in more, which is a good sign. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this. Hopefully you can tell by my finger doing that weird bend. All right, so that's pretty much it. Again, 528 Custom Vapes is the um, manufacturer of this one for the Goon. And honestly, really impressed with the overall visual aspect of it. Would have maybe liked to have seen a little bit more in the bag of the packaging. But outside of that, really no complaints at all. Uh, these two O-rings here as well, you'll see at the bottom there, if I can get it to focus again. Yeah, get it to focus again. You see at the bottom there, you have two of those O-rings. That's gonna protect it for, or that's gonna keep your juice in there without spilling, which is a very big plus in my mind. And uh, again, you can run this in both dual and single airflow mode. This just squeezes back on like that, very easy. It's a little bit loose, but it's also not to the point where it's gonna be an issue for leaking. 
Other than that, not much else to talk about. So what do you say we go back up top and travel in time to the future? All right, YouTube, we are back up top with the Goon RDA. Just want to give you my final thoughts on this thing. It's been about five days. I know I promised you guys to wait like a week or two after the first two portions of this review, but I just couldn't wait to tell you guys. In fact, honestly, after I recorded that those first two sections, by the next day, I already had a really good idea of what I thought about this thing. And needless to say, it has at least met if not exceeded my expectations. And I had high expectations for this thing. There was a lot of hype around the goon. Obviously I'm coming into this, you know, two or three months late. I get it. I made the joke earlier about being late to the party. It's so true. But at the same time, in all honesty, this thing really is amazing. I don't know why I waited so long to get it. Um, as far as my expectations and my experience with it over the last few days, it's been fantastic. The flavor in this thing is perfect. The build deck on it is amazing. Uh, I got some franken coils in here. If you don't know what franken coils are, go check it out on my Instagram. I post them. They are the dirtiest fucking coils I've ever built. But honestly, all jokes aside, they work and they work really well in the goon. And I don't know if it's just the coils I stumbled upon some random configuration of wires that just so happen to work, or if it's the fact that the goon just will make any coils work. I don't know. Either way, I love this thing. I love the way it vapes, the flavor, the vape production. The, the cooling effect of that side airflow. Oh, side airflow, thank you. Finally, we're bringing back side airflow. No more bottom airflow. It's just incredible. And honestly, the only thing I can't really comment on after five days, which I don't think I'd be able to comment any better on after a week or two either, would be the durability of it. Is it going to stand up to time? Those clamp style posts in there are gonna be an issue, could be an issue, I should say. They're not going to be, They're, they could be an issue down the road if they bend it all, if they flex it all. And that could be a huge thing. Um, that's the only thing I want to keep an, an eye out for as I progress with this thing. Other than that, it's perfect. I love it. I highly recommend it if you don't have one already. Um, now, as far as, you know, if you are watching this video, first of all, thank you. I don't know why you're watching it. Maybe you already have one and you just like watching videos on the Goon. I can understand that. I love the Goon myself. Um, maybe you're watching it just to support me. I don't know, maybe. If you are, thank you. I mean, that would be incredible. If you're one of those viewers who just watches all my videos over and over again on a regular basis, thank you so much for that. Seriously, that means a lot to me. Uh, or maybe you're just watching this because you are considering getting a goon, and like me, you're late to the party. Honestly, if you're that type of person, if you like to build and you're looking for a good RDA, this is by far my number one recommended RDA right now. By far. It's finally something that beat out the Royal Hunter which for the longest time for me personally was my top RDA. It was my go-to RDA and I finally found something that can actually compete and it actually beats it quite badly actually. Uh, the Royal Hunter, I mean, it's, it stood the test of time, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, this goon, it outscores it. I'm giving it a perfect 100% score. I don't think I've ever given that to any RDA or RDTA or even any tank for that matter. This one just has it all. I can't find anything wrong with it yet. The only thing that's going to affect that score, like I said, is how it stands up in the test of time for durability wise. Outside of that, love this thing. Highly recommend it. If you don't have one yet, go pick one up. If you can find it anywhere. I mean, it took me a while to find this one, to be honest. So they are starting to go there. Are, they, are, they are starting to lose stock a little bit in most stores. They're being replaced with things that just aren't as good as it, in my opinion. And if your local store has one of these, go pick it up. You can also pick them up online. Um, pretty much just get in on this thing while the hype is here and you will not be disappointed. I promise you that. So with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, happy vaping YouTube.